हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर 18 डिग्नोमेट्रिकल रेशियोज ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एंगल एक्सरसाइज 18.2 एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फर्स्ट पार्ट कॉस 65 फाइव अपॉन साइन ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस कॉस थर्टी टू अपॉन साइन फिफ्टी एट माइनस साइन ट्वेंटी एट सिक्स सिक्सटी टू प्लस कोसिक स्क्वायर थर्टी डिग्री सो फ्रॉम न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर एनी वन वी हैव टू चेंज विद द हेल्प ऑफ complementary angle property so cos 65 we can write as cos 90 minus 25 upon sin 25 here also from numerator denominator any one we have to change so cos 32 we can write as 90 minus 58 upon sin 58 these two are in multiplication so from these two also any one we have to change so sin 28 i am keeping as it is sec 62 i can write sec 90 minus 28 and this is standard angle its value we can substitute cosec 30 is equal to 2 so 2 square cos 90 minus 25 will be sin 25 upon sin 25 then cos 90 minus 58 will become sin 58 upon sin 58 sin 28 as it is and sec 90 minus 28 will become cosec 28 plus 4 it will cancel out become 1 this one also will become 1 and this sin into cosec both are for the same angle cosec we can write 1 upon sin so this one also will become 1 plus 4 1 1 you can cancel out answer will be 5 next is second part of question number 5 sec 29 upon cosec 61 plus 2 cot 8 cot 17 cot 45 cot 73 cot 82 minus 3 sin square 38 plus sin square 52 so in the first term from numerator denominator any one we have to change sec 29 we can write as 90 minus 61 upon cosec 61 now here we have five times cot so we will see which two are complementary from the complementary any one we have to change so 8 and 82 are complementary so we will change any one from these two 17 and 73 are complementary so from these two also we will change any one so cot 8 as it is i am leaving cot 17 also i am leaving as it is cot 45 cot 73 i can write as 90 minus 17 and cot 82 i can write as cot 90 minus 8 from these two any one sin square 38 we can write as 90 minus 52 plus sin square 52 as it is this will become cosec 61 upon cosec 61 to cot 8 cot 17 and cot 45 value is 1 cot 90 minus 17 will become 10 17 again here cot 90 minus 8 will become 10 8 3 sin 90 minus 52 will become cos 52 plus sin square 52 this will cancel out and it will become 1 plus 2 cot 8 we can write as 1 upon 10 8 cot 17 we can write as 1 upon 10 17 here 10 17 as it is 10 8 as it is and here is cos square plus sin square is equal to 1 even this also you can cancel out so we have 1 plus 2 and minus 3 means answer will be 0 Next question number six. Express in term of trigonometrical ratios of angle between zero to forty-five degree. First part: ten eighty-one plus cot seventy-two. 
so this angle we have to change between 0 to 45 81 we can write as 10 90 minus 9 90 minus 9 is equal to 81 same way cos 72 we can write cos 90 minus 18 now 10 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta so this will become cot 9 cos 90 minus theta will become sin theta means sin 18 second part cot 49 plus cosec 87 so cos 49 we can write as cot 90 minus 41 and cosec 87 we can write as cosec 90 minus 3 cot 90 minus theta is equal to 10 theta and cosec 90 minus theta is equal to sec theta next question number seventh prove that sin square 28 minus cos square 62 is equal to 0 so i have taken here left side first sin square 28 from these two anyone we have to change sin square 28 i can write as sin square 90 minus 62 second term i am not changing i am writing as it is sin 90 minus 62 will be cos 62 so we are getting cos square 62 minus cos square 62 which is coming equal to 0 equal to right side for the second part we have to prove cos square 25 plus cos square 65 equal to 1 so same thing we will do here from these two any one we have to change so cos square 25 as it is and cos square 65 i can write as 90 minus 25 cos 90 minus 25 will be sin 25 so we will get here sin square 25 sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 we got right side hence it is proved next to seventh question third part prove that cosec square 67 minus 10 square 23 is equal to 1 so left side i have taken now from these two terms any one we have to change so cosec square 67 i can write as 90 minus 23 and second one i am writing as it is cosec 90 minus theta will be sec theta so we can write it as sec square 23 minus 10 square 23 now we will use here identity as we know 1 plus 10 square theta is equal to sec square theta from the second identity so this sec square the 10 square theta if i change this side then it will become sec square theta minus 10 square theta and this is equal to 1 so this property we are using here so we can replace it with 1 so this is equal to 1 equal to right side fourth part sec square 22 minus cot square 68 is equal to 1 so here also from these two any one we can change sec square 22 as it is and cot 68 i can write as cot square 90 minus 22 and cot 90 minus theta is equal to 10 theta so this will be 10 square 22 again the same property we are using this will become equal to 1 so proved eighth question first part prove that sin 63 cos 27 plus cos 63 sin 27 is equal to 1 so from these two any one we have to change sin 63 i can write as it is and cos 27 i can write 90 minus 63 now here i have changed 27 so here also i will change 27 only cos 63 as it is sin 90 minus 63 sin 63 cos 90 minus theta will be sin theta and cos 63 as it is and sin 90 minus theta will be cos theta so we are getting here sin square 63 plus cos square 63 
साइन स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन वी कॉट राइट साइड एट्थ क्वेश्चन सेकेंड पार्ट सीख थर्टी वन साइन फिफ्टी नाइन प्लस कॉस थर्टी वन को सीख फिफ्टी नाइन इज इक्वल टू टू सो फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टर्म एनी वन वी विल चेंज सीख फिफ्टी थर्टी सीख थर्टी वन वी कैन राइट एज सीख नाइन्टी माइनस फिफ्टी नाइन एंड साइन फिफ्टी नाइन एज इट इज फ्रॉम दिस टू ऑल्सो कॉस थर्टी वन वी कैन राइट एज कॉस नाइन्टी माइनस cosec 59 as it is sec 90 minus theta will be cosec theta so this is equal to cosec 59 sin 59 here cos 90 minus theta will be sin theta sin 59 and here we have cosec 59 cosec we can write as 1 upon sin Again, in the second term also same cosec we can write as one upon sine. So you can see this will cancel out. This one also will cancel out. We will get one plus one, which is equal to two. We got right side. Ninth question, first part. We have to prove cosec seventy sine twenty minus cos twenty cosec seventy is equal to zero. so same thing we have to do what we have done in the last question any one we have to change here sec 70 we can write as 90 minus 20 sin 20 as it is cos 20 as it is and cosec 70 we can write as cosec 90 minus 20 this will become cosec 20 into sin 20 cos 20 into sec 20 sin and cos if we multiply it will become 1 cos and sec also will become 1 so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 right side we got second part of question number 9th prove that sin square 20 plus sin square 70 minus tan square 45 is equal to 1 So from first two term, any one we have to change sin square twenty as it is and sin square seventy. Seventy we can write as ninety minus twenty. Ten square forty five. Ten forty five value is one. Sin square twenty. Sin ninety minus theta will be cos theta. So this we will get cos square twenty minus one. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. One minus one will be zero, so we got right side, and hence it is proved. So in this video, we are doing till here. Remaining questions we will continue in the next video. Thank you for watching this video.